So last Thursday we were treated to video footage of uh, a man carrying a meat cleaver on the streets of Woolwich. And today we're looking, because it's the next passage in our series on Samson, uh, at an incident involving the jawbone of an ass. What's the difference between the two? Don't rush to answer. <laughs> one's meant for like cutting foods, one's meant for cutting grass, or meant for cutting meat. Or We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. One guy says he's doing this in the name of God, and so does the other. One kills one man, and seems not to have done that much alone. There were two of them taken to do it. Whereas another kills a thousand people armed only with a decaying carcass and a donkey. Which one shows evidence of God being at work? Actually being at work. The one that has truth behind it is obviously going to be the genuine article, but which of these accounts shows any sign that God is actually at work in it? How do you make sense of God in violence? See, if God's at work, then we look into what he's doing, and why he's doing it, and we see the justification for that violent act. And it seems to me that taking a car, several sharp implements, and two people to brutally kill one man is the sort of stuff people do. People can do that. Hurt people, damaged people, which it looks like these guys have been. But the very scale of what Samson does in this account not only magnifies the horror of the event, but it gives evidence that some superhuman force has been deployed here. In fact, God has declared his plan and purpose for the land with the reasons that he cites for that policy. There's revelation and there's prophecy and there's Samson doing it in the power of God. You can tell this is more than a man can do. Bible, as we saw last time, spells out that the pagan peoples of the land were to be destroyed and driven out because they were hopelessly committed to all manner of idolatrous and immoral practices and the newly redeemed Israelites were not to be allowed to get corrupted by that. God was acting in judgment on the Canaanites when he redeemed the Israelites and using them to do that judgment for him. And God backed that up, not simply with his word and the revelation of his truth, but he backed it up with the power of God made manifest and the glory of God seen and acknowledged. And that's not what we've got on the streets of Woolwich. It's a tragedy. 